Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, I'm going to show you how on an Android phone or tablet, if you've got a Bluetooth mouse that's compatible with the devices, you can use our GPS Training OS Route Planner free software from the homepage of our website to plan a route to then using Bluetooth and the Garmin Connect app, send that route to a compatible device. Currently, the handheld devices that support the Garmin Connect app for actually sending a um, they call it a course actually once you've created it as a route it's sent to your device as a course and um, the models that will work with that currently are the garmin gps map 66 and 86 series and also the montana 700 750 series of course if you've got a garmin watch such as a phoenix watch or an instinct watch you can use the garmin connect app to send courses to those devices if you haven't got a device that's compatible with the Garmin Connect app, it's worth checking if it's compatible with the Garmin Explore app because that can be used to sync with the unit. But we do find the Garmin Connect app works a lot better, which is what we're going to show in this demonstration. So the first thing I'm going to do is show using the software. Now, I have known some customers have told us they've managed to use the software on a touchscreen, but it is quite hard to do the editing and you'll find you really do need a mouse. The software was really designed to be used on a computer, but if you have got an Android phone or tablet that is compatible with a Bluetooth mouse, you should be able to use the software as I'm going to show now. I'm actually using an Apple mouse called the Magic Mouse, um, but it does actually work with my Samsung G G5 Plus Android phone. So I'm on the home page of our website, gpstraining.co.uk on my phone. And at the top of the screen, I've got three white bars that let me go into our menu. Depending on your phone or tablet, it might be laid out slightly differently. You might have an option that says menu at the top. But you're looking for the menu option where you can see the list I've got now. And I'm going to select OS Planner for Ordnance Survey Planner. And our planning software here, if I move down on the screen. Now I've got my screen in portrait mode. You might put your own screen in landscape mode. It depends what you're comfortable with. But I'm just using my finger on the screen, just not touching on the map at the moment. Because if I touch on the map, what will happen is I'll start moving the map around. It's just to move up so you can see where the planning software is. Now, as I scroll down, we have got some videos underneath that link you to YouTube that give you overviews on using the software and uh, go into a lot more detail than what I'm going to cover now. But I do, um, the videos were done on a computer, so we just thought it'd be nice to show you a video with it done on a tablet as a quick overview. So I've got the map on the screen here now, and there's a box at the top that says go to. Now if I left click with my mouse on the wireless mouse I'm using, uh, my keypad then appears at the bottom of the screen, and you can type in the name of a place, it could be a village or a town, that you want to centre the map on, and then hit your little enter button on your keypad and then a box will come up with search results showing you what it's found. I'm just going to left click with my mouse once on where it says Rothbury Northumberland and the map is now centred on Rothbury Northumberland. To get rid of my keypad I'm just going to touch above the keypad um, to the side of the map just so the keypad disappears. Now in that box where I typed Rothbury you could actually type an Ordnance Survey grid reference as well. So if you had your sheet number, you normally have your two letters of your map sheet, so it could be something like NU. So if you put that in capital letters, and then let's just say you had a six figure grid reference, you type in the six numbers and then click on go in that box, it will center on that grid reference. So if you had a 10 figure grid reference, you could type in your map sheet number, NU for example, SO, whatever your sheet number is, and then the 10 digits for your Ordnance Survey grid reference and click on go and the map will center. So when you're on the map page as I am now, you've got to remember if you put your finger on the map and move up and down, you're not actually moving our website page, you're moving the map around. If you need to move the page itself up and down, you need to go over to the side of the map and touch on a blank space out of the map and scroll up or down with your finger on your touch screen device. So to move the map around, it's a simple gentle scroll with your finger up and down, left and right on the map. If you want to zoom in and out on the map, you've got this plus and minus on the top right. Now, depending on the size of your screen, this is where you might find it easier to use the mouse. So because I've got the wireless mouse connected, I can move my cursor onto the minus or onto the plus and it zooms in and out. We've got the whole of Great Britain on here, Ordnance Survey Maps. As I zoom out, it changes to a 1 to 50 level. And as I zoom in, it changes to a 1 to 25 more detailed level. So that's how we zoom 
in and out. So we're showing you how you search for somewhere to center the map, how you zoom in and out, and how you move around on the map. Now to actually start planning a route, once you've got it where you want, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit closer, you tap on the screen um, with, now the, this is where it's much easier using the cursor. So I've got the little black arrow of the cursor using the mouse. If I left click once with the mouse, my first point appears. Now if you accidentally tap on the screen and you get your route box appear and you weren't yet ready to create a route, you can just touch on the little grey cross to the right of your route to close that box down if you've made a mistake. But once you're ready to go, if I just left click with the mouse to mark my first point on the map, so I'm just doing it uh, just below the church. If the little box gets in the way, you can drag it up by left clicking, keeping the left click of the mouse on the bit that says your route, or I could drag it down. If you had your screen in landscape mode, you'd have more space, of course, to move that around. So I'm just gonna click my next point by left clicking on the green dashes, which are my footpath. To move the map, I'm just going to gently move my finger without tapping. Just be careful not to tap in case you accidentally mark somewhere you didn't mean to. And I'll just click my next point where there's a slight change in the path. With a GPS map 6686 or Montana 700, the maximum number of points you can mark in a route like this is 250. So you've got a lot of scope there. So you can see I'm just left clicking with the mouse every time you see that blue line appear with a blue circle that hopefully you can see on the map just above the your route box. I'm sort of following the river with this green dashed line of the footpath and I'm just left clicking with the mouse. If I accidentally mark somewhere in the wrong place, so I've just on purposely marked a couple of points going up to that car park sign, if I want to delete those points, I go down to the your route box that you can see. And if I just scroll my finger gently over that your route box, you'll see it's got a list of numbers. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just move by left clicking on the grey bit that says your route, I'll drag it up a bit so you can see it more clearly. You can see I've marked eight points there. It's got eight numbers with a grid reference and a little delete next to them. So if I move my cursor with the mouse and left click on the delete and left click on the delete again, I've deleted those last two points out of that route that I marked by mistake. And you can actually see as you're creating the route in this your route box, it actually has the distance in miles and kilometers the ascent, and it has the Naismith rule, which tells you how long it should take you, an average person to walk that route. So I just move that route box by left clicking with the mouse where it says your route in gray and drag it to the bottom of the map. And then I'm just gonna move my map up. You can see now the blue line um, where, we, where it says beggar's rig just underneath. It deleted those two points I moved, I marked by mistake. And I'll just click another point with the cursor I've done that in the wrong place, but I'm going to show you how you now edit it. <coughs> so if you put somewhere in the wrong place, but you can simply move it, it's not like miles away like I did before where I used the delete function. If I move the cursor with the mouse onto one of these little blue circles and simply left click once and then drag the mouse and let go, it moves and adjusts the line of the route you're planning. So you literally just move the cursor anywhere on the line, either on a dot or just on the line itself. Um, sorry, on a dot, not on the line itself, a dot on the line, and then you drag that dot to where you want it to be. Left click with the mouse, drag it back to where you want it to be. So that's how you amend the route, nice and simple. Um, so that's basically it, how, how we do that. Um, if you want to go into some more detail on using this route planning software, there's videos on the GPS training homepage under the route planning software itself. That, yes, they were done on a computer, but it's the same principle and we go into a little bit more detail on things you can do. So you can use it on a computer as well with a wired connection to your GPS device to send your uh, route. So what I'm now going to show you is how we rename the route. Because once you've done the route and you're happy with it, you'll see in this route box, it says name at the top and it simply says new route. So you must remember just the left click in there in that box and then your keypad comes up and I'm just going to use the delete on my keypad and I'm just going to call this one R-O-T-H for Rothbury and then R-S for Riverside and then hit the enter on my keypad and then I'm just going to touch somewhere on the side of the map just to get rid of the keypad. Now to download this to the downloads on my phone. Now all of you might have different phones where your downloads go to a certain folder as long as you know on your phone where if you download a pdf or anything from the internet you'll have a folder on your phone or tablet 
um, normally just simply called downloads depending on how you've set up your own phone so I'm just going to scroll to the very bottom of this root box and I'll just drag it up using the cursor on my mouse and left clicking where it says your root in grey and I'll just drag the box up and you can see at the bottom there so there's nine points so it's well within the 250 and it says download GPX so if I left click on download GPX it then says where do you want to download to so my phone's actually telling me where it's going to go that is going to go into a folder called downloads on my phone so I'm just going to say download and that is now downloaded now on my phone at the bottom rather than going straight to my downloads folder it gives me the option to open it now at the very bottom of my phone now what we need to do is open it with the Garmin Connect app because that's the app that I'm going to use to send it to my GPS map it's an eight, GPS map 86 I'm using today but it could be either a GPS map 66 series or a Montana 700 or 750 that all work with the Garmin Connect app to allow you to send a course to them some of the other handheld gps's do connect to garmin connect for seeing what you've actually done but they don't let you send courses to the devices it's only the map 66 and 86 and the montana 700 750 that allow that at the moment so if i left click at the bottom of my screen where it says open I get the option of what do I want to open this with? What app do I have on my phone? Now, because I've used Garmin Connect before, I can see it's got that at the very top. If not, you just scroll down and find the option Garmin Connect. I'm just going to say just once because in the future I might want to open it with a different app. So now it opens my Garmin Connect app and it's saying what type of course is it? Now, it doesn't give me the option of hiking, unfortunately. So if it wasn't a trail running or a run, etc., you can just select other. And then what it'll do is put my course on a more basic map on the Garmin Connect app. If I scroll down on the app, it shows me the elevation profile. What it does, unfortunately, is where it says course name, it just gives the name today's date. Sometimes it takes other information off the route. So you do have to rename it again. So where it says course name now, I'm just going to touch on there and using the keypad, using the delete button, I'm going to call it exactly the same as the download Rothbury RS. And then just say done so if i'm happy with that i can literally just move to the top of the screen top right of the screen it says done and that's it now saved and as long as i've got my gps device on and paired with the bluetooth i can now send this to my gps device there's videos on our online training course that you get for free for a year when you buy a gps device from us from the menus on the top of our home page you will see the option online resource and you can buy the online resource from us for a year for £50. Um, on the menu on our homepage under the support sections, there's options to buy different supports um, from us that give you different packages that include the online training course. But those of you who have already got the online training course, if you look under the courses and Garmin units for both the Montana 700, and um, we've got Modular 13 has extra videos on using Garmin Connect and pairing it with your GPS device. And under the Garmin GPS Map 66 videos on the online resource, Modular 11 covers pairing with the Garmin Connect app. So at the top right of my screen now on the Garmin Connect app, I've got three white dots. If I touch on those, I've got the option Send to Device. And then it shows you the GPS device I've got connected, which is my GPS Map 86i at the top. So if I touch on that now and I get the word ready to go, what it's basically saying is when I next sync my GPS device with the app, it will send it to the GPS device. So I'm going to touch on the little back arrow on the top left of the screen to come out of here. And once more again on that arrow to come out. And I'm just going to go back into the app on my phone. So what you'll find when you reload the app, you'll find it should automatically start to sync at the top. If it doesn't, you can manually do it. So at the very top of the screen now on my app, I can see a little circle with my GPS map 86 icon with a little green dot it's this one here that i've just touched on and to the right of that there's a little blue circle that if you touch on will sync or if I actually go back one page you've got the little blue circle at the very top of the screen on the app if i touch on it there you'll see a little circle go around the gps icon to say that it's syncing and that'll be sending this route to my unit now on your gps device it is found as a course rather than a route so on your gps map 66s and 86s montana 700s you do need to go into find courses now rather than find routes 
A little tip I will give you on the app just before we finish this video, you can add a shortcut along the bottom of the app screen here that shows courses rather than the shortcuts it shows at the minute. The way you do that is if I touch on the three blue bars at the very top left of the screen on the app, scroll right down to the bottom and select edit tabs. And if I remove one of these tabs like the news feed that I'm not worried about by hitting the little minus in the red circle, and then where I can see courses with a blue plus, um, a white plus, sorry, in a blue circle, if I touch on that, and now courses has appeared, and the top right of the screen touch on save, you'll now see at the bottom of my home screen on the app, I've got this symbol that says courses, and it means you can find any courses that you've sent to your device quickly, touch on them, load them up, and then do exactly what I did before, touch on the three white dots at the top, and select send to device. And then you just pick your GPS device, get the bit that says running, and then you can go back and follow what I did before for the sync. So I hope you found this video useful on using our free route planning software. When you actually finish the route, I should have said I'm back on the software now. Because I know I've downloaded it now to the downloads on my phone, I can just touch on the little grey cross next to where it says your route and just say OK to delete because I've downloaded it. And it takes me back to a blank map. So I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.